In this Image.TL version 10 tutorial video, we will be looking at band intensity comparisons with normalization to a loading control within a single channel. Specifically, we will be looking at an overview of the steps prior to normalization, choosing a reference band for normalization, choosing a reference value for the chosen reference band, and finally exporting our results to Excel. The image that we are using for this Image.TL version 10 tutorial video is shown here. You can see we have two bands per lane, one higher molecular weight band of interest, as well as a lower molecular weight loading control shown below. Prior to normalization, we must complete the following steps. Lane creation, background subtraction, and band detection. Once these are completed, we can now go to the normalization step. Now that we are at the normalization step in the analysis workflow, we can first choose which method we'd like to use for normalization. From this pull-down, you can see we only have one option for in-channel band, and that's because we're analyzing a single channel image. Next, we can choose which band we'd like to use as our reference band. For this image, I am going to choose the loading control from lane one as my reference band. Now that we've chosen our reference band, you can see we've started to populate some data down below in this table. Using a reference value of 1, shown here on the right, we can now look at the relative loads from our loading control that we have in each lane. This will allow us to normalize our bands of interest above. If we wanted to look at the relative amount of our bands of interest, we could always adjust the reference value here, for example, to 1000, and that way we can see our relative loads of our bands of interest here as well. In order to export this data, all you have to do is simply choose to copy, and then you can paste into an Excel file. Now that we have exported our data to Excel, we now need to normalize our bands of interest for each one of our lanes. We can do so by taking the unnormalized value and multiplying that by our loading control value, which is 1000, divided by the loading control value for that specific lane. In this case, I will choose B4. We can now use that same formula for the rest of our lanes to get our normalized values of our bands of interest. 